This video explains how to configure SAML SSO using Active Directory Federation Services as your identity provider. You will also need to refer to the ADFS documentation. To add Burpsuite Suite Enterprise Edition to your trusted applications, log in to Burpsuite Suite Enterprise Edition as an administrator. From the Settings menu, select Integrations. On the SAML tile, click Configure. Notice that you can copy both the relying party trust identifier and the relying party service URL. In ADFS, run the add relying party trust wizard. Paste the relying party service URL into the relying party SAML 2.0 SSO service URL field. Paste the relying party trust identifier into the relying party trust identifier field. To configure Burp Suite Enterprise Edition, you need to obtain some key details from ADFS. For more information, refer to the ADFS documentation. You need to obtain the following details. The entity ID, the SSO URL, and the token signing certificate. To enter the key details in Burpsy's Enterprise Edition, ensure that you're still on the SAML page. In Company Details, enter your company name, enter the key details in the relevant fields, and click Save. To make sure that the group membership of your users is sent to Burpsy's Enterprise Edition in a format that you can recognize, you have the following options. Create a central claim insurance policy that sends all of your groups to Burp Suite Enterprise Edition automatically. To expose all of your users' groups to Burp Suite Enterprise Edition, configure a central claim issuance policy. This allows you to manage the claim rules for all of your groups in one place. It also removes the need to configure claim rules each time you add a new group. Please refer to our documentation guide for rule examples. Your second option is to configure claim rules for each group that you want to expose to Burp Suite Enterprise Edition individually. This gives you more granular control over which groups and related information are exposed to Burp Suite Enterprise Edition in each claim. We provide steps to help you configure this in our online documentation. It's worth noting that you can also use a combination of both approaches. In this case, the groups available to Burp Suite Enterprise Edition would be the union of the groups covered by the claim issuance policy and any additional groups for which you've created individual claim rules.